Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully take a backup from our local host. So now that is our SQL database file and that is our total project. Now I want to do, I want to deploy this project to the web server. Like for doing this, I want to use one of my client website. So now there is a client website here that you can see that is on the domain as the alaminfreelancer.com. So after that, I want to do I want to create, I want to access our cPanel. Like first of all, you have to go to the cPanel. So that is the information you'll get it from your hosting provider. And here you, you have to do, you have to log in. That means here you have to put your appropriate username and password. And after that, if you click as a login, now you can see you are now successfully logging. So most of share host actually just like that same, but here if you actually get the different type of uh, designs, that is totally fine, but all that functionality will be same. Like there should be one of the file manager and from here you can actually create that database and then domain. Okay, now you can see that is all that things is now loaded perfectly. So now if you go to that file manager, so into the file manager, they have also one of the folder, they have one of the folder as a public HTML. And public HTML is the main root directory of your domain. Okay, so here you can see that is one of the Laravel project is now running, which is totally fine. So now I want to do, I want to um, upload our project. That means I want to deploy this project in here. So better I want to create one of the subdomain. If you go to that, uh, your cPanel dashboard and do the cPanel dashboard here, you will get one of the subdomain. There is a domain part from here. You can create one of the subdomain. Better right now to create one of the subdomain as a basic. Okay, basic because that is our basic project and when you select it automatically you can see it's now created your route as a basic alaminfreelancer.com so that is your domain name and that will be our basic so now that will be our subdomain i want to create it i have already created some of that subdomain now i want to do I want to create this subdomain if you click press as a create now you can see it's now show as a success and basic freelancer.com has been created so that will be our subdomain here i want to do i want to deploy our laravel 9 project and also if you want to enable that HTTPS, you can also enable it, which is totally fine. Right now for education purpose, I'm using it. Now if you go to that, go back. Right now our subdomain, you can see there is a subdomain is created, which is totally fine. Now if you go to our pain project, and again if you go to that our file manager, so now that is our file manager, right? If you now refresh it, now that should be another um, folder, because that is on the share host, you can see there is another folder as a basic that I have created on the subdomain and into the subdomain area you will get this type of one of the CSV CGI bin or other than you can also get some of the um, HTTPS if you want to check it that is a show make that sure you add that show hidden file so now you can see everything is great now here I want to do I want to deploy our project okay so now here I want to access it so now if you want to deploy this project first of all I want to do and to click as the upload and now from here I select this file and you can see that is our desktop and basic project here I have already take two of this our backup right I have already take two of this backup now first of all I want to do I want to uh, select our total project I open it now that is uploading okay which is totally fine at that time I want to do um, that is a subdomain I want to create one of the database so if you want to create this database here we have to do we have to go to that basic there is a database option and from here there is a mysql database i open it now i want to do i want to create another new database i name it as a basic okay basic this type of another database i want to create they have the multiple um, database now i want to do I want to create as a basic now click as a create database base um, that is already created better i want to do i want to make it as a demo okay demo so now this type of one of the database I want to create, click as a create, our database is created successful, better I want to save this information because that will be needed. Now click as a go back and I want to create one of the user for this. Now I want to create another user as a U basic or U demo. Okay, I name it as a U demo. I want to generate some of the password rather than you can also add some of the password as per your demand. Now better I want to save it. So everything will be needed. I save it and now I want to do and to paste it. So that is our password. Okay, username and password. Now create user. Our user is successfully created. I also want to do and to save this information. So now that is our database name, database username, and then password. Okay, great. Now I want to do and to click as a go back. Okay, I click as a go back. Now we have to add it. That means we have to add that user to the database so if you want to do this work i have created as a u demo that is our user in our database area we have to add it so that is our demo great now i want to do i want to add it and then we have to make it as all privileges and make changes 
that's all our database is now successfully created okay now right. if you go to our php my admin into the php my admin now that should be another database so that will be just like our local host right into the local host you can see that is the same functionality will be loaded in particular that area so now that is our web host a php my admin you can see that is look like just like that same here if you go to the database i have created one of the database as a demo so now if you open the demo and into this area now we have to do we have to import it so from our local storage i export now in our web server i want to do and to import that sql server if you now click as import and now i want to choose this file now that is our file that is a website sql which i have already taken backup from our local storage now i select it i open it now i want to done to make it as a go now that will be added all the our table in particular that database you can see everything is successfully done you can see it's now successfully displays the import has been successfully finished 34 queries now if you go to that structure now you can see that is all that our database table right which is totally fine now we have to do our project you can see our project is also successfully uploaded that is one of the 91 megabyte file now if you click as a go back now that is our project so now i want to want to extract it if you want to extract so i want to extract in particular um, our subdomain area now click as a extract file and now you can see all that file is now successfully extracted which is totally fine so now that is our folder now i want to do uh, right now we don't need this only in our basic folder so that is all that our file right so now i want to do i want to um, simply remove it from to this position so if you want to move it i simply select all that our folder now i want to do i want to click as a move i want to move it in our particular root directory as a basic and our domain name so now here i want to do and to simply remove it now if you select it as a move file everything will be gone from here now everything in our main directory you can see every file all that file is down in here so now from to this position i want to do that is our project one we don't need this folder right now i remove this folder i simply remove it great now from here that is our dot env file into the dot env now we have to update our all the database configuration like you can see that is our database name i have already saved all that information as i told you that will be needed now that is our database name i want to update that database name i want to update um, our password that is a database password and also i want to update the database username i copy it now that will be our database username great i have already created this database database and also i uploaded all that our table in our env file we have to update the database name database username and then password great so that's all now click the save changes so here i simply updated that part now if you want to access our domain that is our subdomain if you want to access it so that is our several subdomain right better i copy it now if you want to access and then click as enter now you can see it's now successfully redacted all that our page that means all that our total project is now loaded and here if you go to that public then into the public area now show another error as a composer detected issue in platform your composer dependency required PHP version 8.0.2 so as i told you laravel actually supported minimum 8 or 8.0 so in my local storage our server our server i have actually used which one if you go to that all local storage into the local storage if you go to the php my version as 8.1.2 but right now in server here they are actually using the different maybe i want to check it if you go to your c panel into the c panel area here you will get php version you can see that is select php version because laravel 9 minimum support as a 8 now if you go to that select php version and here you can see right now for this hosting they are using as a 7.4 so here make that sure you have to do you have to update it i make it as a 8.1 okay so i now that is our 8.1 i want to make it as a set as a current now that should be updated yeah you can see it's now updated now current version as 8.1 now if you run it again that means our this problem should be gone now click as enter now you can see it's now display another error so that is the error if you want to solve this issue is very simple simply go to your project like that is our project and into this project area you have to do you have to go to that bootstrap folder into the bootstrap there is a cache 
and with the cache folder there is a config.php here you have to do you have to remove this file i simply remove that config.php now our that error should be gone now if you click as enter now our project should be run you can see our project is now successfully running okay it's now successfully running everything is just like the same in our local storage perfect okay perfect if you go to our about page yeah our about page is successfully loaded okay everything actually just like that same in our local storage and also if you want to check it uh, in right now we have to <laughs> access it in our public right because literally i will also show you how to remove this public like i want to do and to access our mm, logging panel if you go right now we don't need this if you go and click as enter now you can see that is a public here you have to access and then our project will be running and after that if you make it as a logging logging i want to access our dashboard as well so now you can see our backend also successfully loaded and i put that username as a kazi password was one two three four five six seven eight now click as a login mm, you can see right now our message is also successfully visible as a user logging successful and that is all that our page okay there is a home slide so home slide is visible portfolio about page and everything is just like that same in our local storage right in our local storage right great right now everything is worked perfectly i want to do i want to now remove our public so if you want to remove this public is very easy simply go to your project directory again now i want to go to my project directory so that is actually our main root directory as a basic right so here you have to do you have to create one of the dot stxs file so now i want to do to create another new file and i just name it as a dot stxs okay so that will be as a dot stxs this type of one of the file i want to create now create this file and now into the create file that means you know stxs now i want to open it click as a edit I click as edit and now here you have to simply add this command okay so now i simply copy it so it should be remove that public okay now i want to simply copy it and here i want to do and to paste it so friend that's all you have to do now if you click as a save changes now you are able to um access your total project removing that public i show you like right now i want to do and to run it without public now if you click as enter now that should be run hmm you can see it's now successfully running now you can see it's now successfully running so right now they have no public if you want to access that about page it will be as a slash about you can see there is a successfully updated if you go to that portfolio that will be as a slash portfolio or total project is successfully working right and if you go to that view more page it will be redacted to the view more page and also if you now if you want to access our um backend if you want to remove that public you can it should be also work now i'm going to click as enter now that is our project and from here i want to, to go to a logging page so that is a logging click as enter right now i'm already logging for the reasons it should be redacted to our dashboard page yeah you can see it's also successfully working now some home slider home slider is working block category all block category everything is working our suite alert suite alert is also successfully working if you want to change anything i make it as a facebook one and you click as an update block category our toaster is also successfully working so now our total project how to deploy this laravel total project to the web server how can we remove and the public i hope friend every part is very much clear to you so thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.